big development today in college sports, though it was expected based on the reporting over the last few days. But the Big Ten and the Pac-12 conferences have made it official. They will postpone their entire fall sports seasons. This includes football, and that means Rutgers won't play football this year for the first time since 1870. Both conferences saying they just aren't willing to risk playing in a pandemic, and there's too much uncertainty. And they become the first of the so-called Power Five conferences now to at least postpone their college football seasons. As New York reports its lowest virus hospitalization and ICU numbers since the middle of March, the Tri-State did add Hawaii, South Dakota, and the U.S. Virgin Islands to the quarantine list today. Alaska, New Mexico, Ohio, and Rhode Island have been taken off the list. We've seen it time and again over the past few weeks, impatient gym owners illegally opening their doors so New Jerseyans can get their workout in. And now it looks like it's happening again in Ocean Township. News 4's Brian Thompson has an exclusive. A viewer tip questioned the activity going on inside this private members-only community center. Through the windows of the Deal Sephardic Network Community Center, it was clear there were people working out on gym equipment inside. And in the parking lot, cars with New York plates in many cases. All day long, we saw adults going in and coming out. That equipment depicted on the website of DSN is set up as you might expect to find in any professional fitness center. Though the website mentions nothing about suspending use of the fitness center as required under the governor's executive order. Soon after we arrived, the shades were drawn over all the windows and we got a formal no comment from the manager of DSN. Ocean police said they were not aware of this and three officers and the regional health department arrived soon thereafter, spending more than an hour investigating the inside activities. At that point, police tell us the center voluntarily closed for the day. As of now, no citations issued, but we're told by police that the Monmouth prosecutor is reviewing violations that were found in the gym and on the basketball court. Otherwise, though, they say the summer camp and the daycare center were being operated in compliance with state guidelines. In Ocean Township, Brian Thompson, News 4 New York. In Connecticut, Governor Lamont offered reassurance again that kids will be going back to their classrooms when the new school year begins. He said that this afternoon at a Litchfield County Middle School, telling reporters, quote, if Connecticut can't get kids back in the classroom safely, no state can. We're in a unique position to be able to do that. We've worked really hard. We've been wearing our masks. We've showed the social discipline we need. We've kept our infection rate uh, one of the lowest in the country. And I think we've earned the right, our kids have earned the right to be able to go into a classroom and see their friends. And I acknowledge there are parents who still don't feel comfortable sending their kids back to school. And the governor says there's a plan in place to accommodate them as well.